Let's bring in Nicole Lappin at CNBC headquarters in Englewood Cliffs, New Jersey. Nicole, good morning. Good morning, Mika. Uh, South Korea, as you know, uh, big news this morning. It's the 15th largest economy, so it's going to have an impact, obviously, but it's going to generate in Asia and then trickle over as markets open across the rest of the globe. But we didn't see a whole lot, actually. Asian markets opened mostly lower as the tensions mounted. Uh, the South Korean Kospi composite fell about a percent. Uh, the South Korean currency sold off. The Nikkei was under some pressure, but then we bounced back. Uh, futures are slightly positive, uh, but basically flat this morning. So geopolitical tensions, guys, didn't really spook markets. Uh, what, what, some, what, some what, impact did, what impact does that have on us? Because, you know, Harold Ford Jr. and I, we usually wake up at about 1 in the morning and start studying the Asian market. Right. Uh, we still haven't figured out exactly why. What impact? Like, is that going to have an impact on the markets today in New York? Oh, my God. Open? I mean, but the, is, there's so many things that can have an impact, right? So you can't really pinpoint uh, it, it's going to be South Korea. It's going to be North Korea. I, I, would love, I, I would love for him to chime in. I'd love for Andrew to chime in as well. What, what about the Giants? game yesterday. That, 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 that does have an impact. <laughs> yeah. What, what, are you doing, what are you doing for Christmas? <laughs> what am I doing for Christmas? Yeah. Markets are closed. I'm there off. you go. You're, Markets are closed. Money out. has to sleep every once in a while. She's got a life. She's out of good. here. That is good. All right, well, Nicole. Good. Thank you. Great, Great to see you, Nicole.